There already is talk of the Phillies pursuing Madison Bumgarner, but the Braves might be an even better fit. Alex Anthopoulos generally isn't keen on trading for rentals, but the Braves' need for a top-of-the-rotation starter is even more acute than the Phillies. Their farm system, one of the best in the game, should hold plenty of appeal to the Giants, and Baumgarner, a potential free agent at the end of the season, almost certainly would be interested in playing for the team that is closest to his home state long term. The Blue Jays already are acting as sellers, trading Kendris Morales to the Athletics and Kevin Pillar to the Giants. Their efforts to surround Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with even more young talent are only going to accelerate and produce more significant hauls in the months ahead. The Jays' trade chips are certainly doing their part so far. Marcus Stroman leads the American League with a 1.43 ERA, and Justin Smoke and Aaron Sanchez also are off to excellent starts. The Giants are not the only team willing to talk about some of their relievers at this early stage. The Orioles already are listening on Michael Givens, who would be a logical fit for the Dodgers, the Cubs, the Red Sox, among other contenders. Givens is earning $2.15 million this season, and he comes with two additional years of control. Some rival teams, though, fear the Orioles might price him too high. The O's have a new GM, Mike Elias, and among their expensive players, Givens is really the only true asset. Just like last season, the Brewers appear in dire need of starting pitching. And just like last season, the team doesn't quite see it that way. Once Gio Gonzalez is ready, Freddy Peralta and Jimmy Nelson are healthy, and Corbin Burns is back from the minors, the Brewers will have eight legitimate starting pitchers. At that point, the team will consider any and all possibilities, from openers to tandem starters to six-man rotations. They will need to manage the innings of Nelson and their younger starters.